So we're back in Excel and I want to show you some cool stuff that you can do with data validations. Now I have to admit so I've already got this little voice in my head going why would I use data validations if I have SharePoint and Microsoft Forms but of course uh, we still use Excel and there's still definitely a place for building forms that people fill in and where we would need data validation. So it's one of those things that people normally avoid because it looks like it's difficult to do and I can promise you that it's not once you kind of figured out how it works. So this example that I'm using, I've, uh, I've got a little form, it's not pretty, I didn't focus on uh, making it pretty at all, but I've got this little form that I want to uh, have people fill in, right? So next to name and surname and blah, 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 these uh, will be specific fields that they'll fill in, but I want to validate the data they put in because you know that whole garbage in, garbage out thing. If we can't kind of like structure the way that they input the data, then the data that we get out is not going to be any good. So there's different ways of doing data validation. If I stand on the field where they must fill it in, um, I can then go to the data tab and under the data tab, you'll see data validation. Now there's different types of data validation. I'm going to just click on data validation and it opens up this little text box. So you'll see that in this field, it's asking me, what do you want to validate? So could it be any um, value? Must it be a whole number or a decimal or a list or date and time or text length or a custom? So if I go text length, I can say that the minimum must be um, one character and the maximum must be 50 characters. Okay, so that will at least limit how long um, the input is for that. I can do the same for this next one. So let's say, oops, <laughs> text to columns, data validation. Again, I'm going to say this is a text length and uh, one to 50 characters. Um, you can put an input message in as well on an error alert. We'll get to that in a, a minute. So then I've got cars and colors, and I actually want them to pick from a drop down list. So if I go to car, I've already compiled the little list on the sheet too. I can then go to data validation and I can say that the input for that must be from a list. It's going to ask me where is that list. I'm going to click inside of the source field and then at the bottom I'm going to navigate to sheet 2 and I'm going to say there's the list that I want people to pick from. you got to select it from the start to the end and if you ever add another field there it won't pick it up in your drop down so please uh, remember that. I can then have an input message as well and say please uh, select from the list um, and uh, error alert we'll have fun with this and say no BMWs allowed <laughs> I'm gonna be in trouble for this one um, I'm gonna say okay and I can do the same with color so let's just repeat that data validation is going to be a list uh, where's my list click in the source go to sheet 2 click my colors, say OK. So let's go back again to data and say data validation it must be a date and it must be between, that'll help, 1950, 01, 01 and uh, 2018, 06, 01 for example. Um, and then um, year model, of course, we can put a validation as well. So then what happens is when people fill it in, so I can go Tracy van der Skeef, but if I have to add too many characters, it's going to say, nope, it's, uh, and I didn't put an error message in, it's got to be shorter than that. Okay, so Tracy, Fundoscape, we'll go in the second one, Fundoscape, um, I'm going to say BMW, it's going to say, nope, no BMWs, <laughs> I'm going to start getting into trouble for that. Mazda. But look what I can do is I can click on the drop down and select Mazda. Color, I can do exactly the same. I want it to be orange. Dates, I can put in as well. So let's go 2019-0101. Nope, must be between those specific dates that I specified. And you can do the same for year model. So I think that's a pretty cool thing that you can do. Uh, good luck with that. And I hope, uh, hope you can prettify those forms of yours.